we'll take uh, anybody that wants to vote. The wheels pretty much fell off Michael Wilson's plans for a student vote bus. He paid for the bus to take students to the Elections Canada special ballot polling station. Uh, if you want to vote here in Calgary, you need to use a special ballot and you have to be uh, voted, have voted by 6 o'clock tomorrow night. After the first run Monday to SAIT and a second run to the U of C, the students' vote bus sat empty. It's disheartening, really. It's, uh, I think it's really reflective of what's going on uh, as far as you know, the apathy towards student voting uh, and the fact that a lot of party leaders aren't addressing the students directly. Vote bus organizers aren't the only ones to blame politicians for student voter apathy. You know what, I think that the big, biggest problem is, is that a lot of politicians don't work hard enough to engage our demographic. Uh, they don't come out and talk about issues that students necessarily care about. And that's why we're really trying to get more students engaged, is because once we can get more students engaged, hopefully more politicians will address our concerns. The thing is, though, how will a student find it important to vote unless someone comes and talks about something that affects them in their day-to-day -day life? Despite shelling out $400 to rent the bus, all was not lost. Three voters showed up for the final run of the day to ride the vote bus. I saw the vote bus and I looked it up on Facebook uh, and now we're going to go and vote. <laughs> I think it's a really good idea because I mean I do have a car but most students don't so to bring the students to the voting I think is an excellent idea. I think it needs to be better promoted though. Wilson says the vote bus was organized specifically for out-of-town students who can only vote via the special ballot. But he hoped the bus would encourage more students to get involved in the election. I think it's important for young people to vote and get out there and be a part of the country. It's a nice right that we have, so people should all do it. Students able to vote in their home riding can still cast a ballot along with the rest of us next Monday, May 2nd. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.